Hi there, I'm Vicky Welsh of Bristol Morley Walking and today I'm going to talk to you about posture. Posture is the foundation block for both Nordic walking and ordinary walking and I'm just going to run through the things that I think about before I set off either for a walk or a Nordic walk. The first is my spine. I think of it like an accordion. When you open an accordion you stretch it out and I want to do the same thing with my spine. So I'm lifting it up, opening out the discs and the vertebrae all the way up, all the way up into my neck and then at the top I'm just lifting my head up and off my shoulders as though someone's got a piece of string tied to the head and is just lifting my head up. Don't forget your chin should be level to the ground. It's very easy to tip your head back. You don't want to do that. So chin level to the ground. That's the first thing I think about. The second thing I think about are my shoulders. A lot of us have quite a closed postural position because we've been sitting, working at computers or driving quite a lot. So you've got to think about opening your shoulders. There's a really good trick to this. One is, if you haven't got the Nordic poles in your hand, is to just turn your hands outwards like that so the palms are facing forwards and you'll feel that your shoulders widen. Keep your shoulders at that point and return your hands to their normal position and you'll feel as though you've stretched across your shoulders. That's a great way of starting to walk. The next is that I pull my stomach in slightly, not too much, otherwise you over tighten the muscles. And finally, I think about being centred so that the weight is centred between both my legs rather than being over on one side or the other. So I feel centred and I want my feet to feel connected to the ground. So I feel, try and feel heavy into the ground with my toes wide, not scrunched up wide like a duck's webbed feet. And that's it.